The Revolutionary War looms large in American history as the moment when our newborn nation won its independence from Great Britain. But as well known as the Boston Tea Party, George Washington, Paul Revere's ride, and Betsy Ross are, there are still some facts that we bet you didn't know. For starters, there wasn't just one Boston Tea Party, but two. In March 1774, three months after the original Tea Party, 60 men boarded a ship called the Fortune and dumped 30 more tea chests into Boston Harbor. Similar protests over the British government's Tea Act later spread to other colonies, including Maryland, New York, and South Carolina. And did you know that despite the dramatic story told in the famous 1861 poem, Revere didn't ride alone to warn fellow patriots that British troops were approaching Lexington on the night of April 18, 1775. William Dawes and Samuel Prescott rode alongside him, and some 40 men eventually joined the three patriots on their worthy mission. Revere also never shouted, the British are coming, as the legend has it. In fact, he was warned to be very discreet about who he told and how. Though the most famous images of Revolutionary War patriots tend to be of white men in wigs, women, African Americans, and Native Americans all fought for the revolutionary cause. Thousands of women traveled with the Continental Army, working as laundresses, cooks, nurses, and even spies or couriers. Some, like Margaret Cochran Corbin, actually took over for their wounded husbands behind the cannon. Corbin became the first woman to receive a military pension and is now buried with full military honors at West Point. It has been estimated that at least 5,000 African Americans also fought on the Patriot side. In New England, blacks served in integrated units and received the same pay as whites. And though many Native Americans allied themselves with the British in the hopes of protecting their homelands from colonial expansion, Others, including most Native Americans living in New England and some of the Iroquois peoples, fought alongside the colonists. And did you know there were pirates that fought for the revolutionary cause? Strictly known as privateers, these vessels were licensed by the Continental Congress to harass and disrupt British shipping throughout the war. Though no match for the powerful British Navy, privateers managed to help themselves to some $18 million by the end of the war, around $302 million in today's dollars. Pirates as revolutionaries? Now that's something we bet you didn't know.